So, now that we've covered Bill 25 and my endorsement of the Honorable Provincial Parliament Member, Butila Karpoche, who's actually from Tibet, by the way, if you didn't know that. And I absolutely love Tibet because it, it you know, in, tu- in Bhutan as well, if you know the story of Shangri-La, there's a song by uh, Caitlin Scarlett from the United Kingdom, and she sings about Shangri-La, and it's like the lyrics are like, I know a place without smoke and, and cars and trees and the air can heal you as you breathe, not like the smoke that fills the streets. That's quoting Caitlin Scarlett's song. And Bhutan is literally the physical Shangri-La. So like, I'm so, I'm so proud that I have a member of provincial parliament representing me in this uh, legislative assembly of Ontario that, that, that comes from a culture that knows the value of happiness and a good spirit and a happy heart over the greed of these corporations which are currently launching a second colonization and legislative genocide. Okay. Hello, Stephen Lecce. How are you? It's been a long time. It's been a hot minute. I followed you very closely during 2021 because of the pandemic. When you shut down schools in 2020 and I was attending Malvern Collegiate Institute, at first I was like, great, I'm not going to have to go to school anymore because I hated going to school. Why did I hate going to high school? Even in the beaches, a vi- an affluent and very rich neighborhood with a lot of financial support. I hated going to Malvern because it's in a state of disrepair, as are most of the schools across Toronto right now. I've seen it. There is no air conditioning at Malvern. There are leaks in the ceiling. I saw this even before 2020 and nothing's done. And what else is there to say about Malvern? How can I roast my school? No, I'm not gonna roast them, but I am gonna say there are some good people, the educators, and the people that support students and have a good heart, I commend them and I love Malvern because I learned how to, you know, break past limit mental limitations that were holding me back from excelling in mathematics. So I'd like to thank the Malvern Collegiate Institute Math Department personally. Now, Mr. Lecce, Minister of Education for Ontario, you say, that you've given $300 million to the TDSB to fix these problems and the TDSB is failing to act. So you're positioning the issue on a municipal agency to distract from what the Honorable Member Bertola Carpoche specifically said to you recently. And she said this in legislature, and as she returned from legislature and went to the town hall yesterday night, I could tell spiritually that she is fed up. Because Lecce, you are the minister of education, to quote her. Fix the schools. Fix them. You're part of the provincial government. And if you imagine the pyramid of this country, the provincial government is above the municipal. You have all the power and resources in your cabinet, in your party, to literally write a demand letter and and, and, and even force the TDSB and who knows what's really happening with the money, with the education crisis, with teachers losing morale in schools, in this state of disrepair and misery because when you go to a school and it's scorching hot in the summer, we're in May right now and school ends in June, at the end of June, and it's gonna get hot, buddy. And there's no air conditioning and there's leaking rain through the roofs of Humberside Collegiate Institute, which is in my my community. And I see the students of this this, um, institution, this uh, secondary school, 
out in the community doing everything they can to, in their power to skip class because they feel the same way that I felt at Malvern because it's just, it's, it's like you're living in a third world country in a school in Canada. So fix the schools, Leche. Fix them. Because I'm sick and tired of students having to suffer from these inhumane conditions. And education is a human right. Guess what? If you look at schools outside of Toronto, and if you look at schools in the United States and other comparison uh, Five Eyes countries, they are a lot better funded um, lo unless they're in disproportionately affected neighborhoods. Like, like you know, for example, my respect for Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez probably has, a, in her um, jurisdiction, she probably has the same issue, but in New York especially, but in, the, in every other place except for Toronto, the schools are well-funded, they have the AP programs, and now I'm even going to go to the private schools. I, I remember when grade 10, I felt so upset at my school. Not the educators, not the staff or the people trying to help me. But the fact that my school was in a state of disrepair. And I looked up, you know, um, I think it's like Trinity College in their private school in near Kingston in the west um, end of Ontario. And I was like, if I ever have kids one day, I want to send them to a private school because, like, this is how a school should be. At least, literally, they have air conditioning and a nutritious cafeteria. Because when a, at my school at Malvern, and probably at Humberside, too, the cafeteria, the food being served there, it's not healthy. It gave me a stomach ache, like, every other day. And when you're not eating healthy foods and you're a student, what's going to happen to your grades? What's going to happen to your motivation and your ambitions for success in the future? You're going to lose hope, especially because you're caged in a school which is literally falling apart at the seams. So Leche, you have the power to literally force or, or ensure that the funding that you've given supposedly to the TDSB is used appropriately and used not next month, not the year after next month's year. No. At the end of June when school is out, Leche, you're, I'm ordering you with the authority of God, by the way, right now. You, and I have the support of the member, who's also, I can tell that she's spiritual, and I can tell that she respects spirituality. Because I've met with her personally, and I spoke with her on, on the mic yesterday night, talking about my abusive landlord and supervisor, and all these key issues, and how we're living under fear. I'm calling on you. At the end of June, when school's out, you need to force, because you apparently you're blaming the TDSB and positioning this onto another party, but whatever. It's time for you to force a upgrade of, especially Humberside Collegiate Institute. And if you're, if you like me, and I liked you for a time because I thought that, that, you know, the lockdown was a blessing because as an introvert, as someone who struggles with, with um, anxiety, being at home and learning, I like to learn at home too. But you need to fix the schools. So fix Humberside, fix Malvern, and fix the TDSB and order them to use the funds that your government supposedly gave them to fix them and install air conditioning and 
repair. And if you cannot afford AC in the budget, which I highly doubt with $3 million freaking dollars, if you cannot afford that, then at the very minimum, repair the leaking ceilings and fix the cafeterias and replace them with actually nutritious, real food. Not food that's been prepackaged, not food that's junky, not food that gives me a stomach ache because it has uh, chemicals and plastics and PFAs in them. Fix it. Fix the schools. Anyway. I would like to thank the Honorable Member Butila Karpoche for her outspokenness in the legislature, even though it's tough. And I, as an individual with a lot of empathy, I understand. And I, I, I can visibly feel and I know that you're going through a lot right now having to deal with the threat of possibly being assaulted because that very same day there was an assault at those encampments near, in the, the right beside Queens Park. U of T campus is right beside Queens Park, FYI. So to have to walk by those encampments and be in the state of fear is mentally exhausting. And then when she came to the town hall, she was even fatigued because she didn't even have a chance to eat because she had to address you, Leche, and, 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 and suffer for a moment to bring it to the, to the legislature that you need to fix the schools. Because I am a tutor and I work with students and families to support their education. And I know from their testimonies and in, in my client sessions that their schools and their teachers the teacher's mental health, too. I'm going to talk about that. Think about the educators and the staff. How do they feel living in a, in a cage that's like a third world country? Knowing that their government and their administration and the TDSB or, or, or the, whoever is failing to repair the place where they work. Workplace safety must be respected. And there are WSIB laws regarding this. So you're maybe you're actually breaking the law by not repairing these schools because think about the educators and the safety risks because of the mold, the pests, you know, all of it. There are health risks associated with you not fixing the schools. So Stephen Lecce, Minister of Education for Ontario, fix the schools. Thank you and God bless you, Butula Karposha MPP. I fully support you. Contact me if you need any help.